from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we're taking a look at how some pro anglers approach the tricky task of fishing flooded lakes and what some of their favorite tools are to use in these circumstances. Now, over the last few years, Choke Canyon has been through the ringer. Once regarded as one of the best big bass fishing sites in Texas, it was nearly written off after suffering low water levels and drought several years ago. Now, after seeing some pretty intense flooding in the last couple of years, Choke Canyon is now slowly climbing its way back up the ranks of popular fishing locations. Wade and his childhood pal Jeff Creed are on the water, getting a feel for this reservoir's makeover. You know, fishing all over the country, 250, 300 days a year, you get into a lot of challenging circumstances. And, and honestly, one of the really challenging circumstances, and we had a lot of it this year, is high, high waters can get almost overwhelming, especially on a lake with a lot of cover. You know, the water comes up and there's just so much cover. Bushes or vegetation, just it just floods out. So what you get into, you have all these beautiful bushes everywhere, but they're seven, eight, nine foot of water and they're every two inches. So where do you pick? It's a needle in a haystack. So a lot of times when these lakes flood, one of the biggest keys for me and to most of the guys that fish high water like that is to try to be able to find a place you can get to the bank. I talk about it all the time in fishing flooded water. There's so much cover. This Which is pretty one? unique, dude. That's, it. That's what you need to look. You need to either get to the bank or find uniqueness, I think, when there's the water super flooded. If we don't catch them, we'll just say there's no bass in the lake anymore. I bet something scratches your line before the day is over. Man, I hope so. It's a lot, you know, the deal is, is what I have learned in my years of fishing is it's way more fun to catch them the fish, than the fish to fish for them. <laughs> I agree. I don't care what size, I just want to feel that bite. I mean, they may be all the way up there. Well, I think they are. That's what I would say. I would start shallowing for a cap. This is what makes South Texas so good, though. Yeah. When it does this, you know, lakes, get, they go down forever and then they flood back up and they're a brand new lake. Oh! <laughs> got one! Nice one! Captured him. We got back here where we could fish. <laughs> That may not seem like much to you guys, but you know what that is to me? <laughs> That's an investment toward my future because that fish is worth a dollar. <sighs> so depressing. I was fixing to catch me one too, grab a yeah. trick stick, because right now I can get a bite. I'm a dollar down. Right now I'm actually three dollars up. Most biggest and first. Right. Let's just hope that doesn't <laughs> end up that yeah. way. <laughs> I'm done, let's go. <laughs> That'd be a very bad day. He hit it hard. <laughs> You just think about a lake like this in a couple years, the potential. If the, if the water will stay in it. This lake used to be so good. Yeah. I don't know if ever, I, I didn't, I only came over here a couple times, but I think I caught a 10 pounder every time I come over here and fish. They just, they just lived here. It's better than Falcon. You think there's still a pretty decent population of fish in this lake or not really? No, I don't, I mean, I think you had the fish of a 9,000 acre lake and now you got 18,000 acres of water. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons why you had to fish so long to get around them, and then when, you know, when you, like you said, you find them, you you catch them. You said the other day, didn't you catch? You said we probably or caught 20? We probably caught 25 the last time we were down here. Most of them about that size. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs> that 
Damn it, you see him? That's the sound of a missed fish. Did you see that? No. That was crazy. <laughs> he followed it, that, that bass followed my swim jig. I watched him swim up beside it, and I killed it and he got it, and I still missed him. Hang on a second now. <laughs> oh gosh. So, so I, I was picking my swim jig and I just had to fish eat it and I missed him and all that. And, well, as you can see, <laughs> this, this was from my last tournament in practice. I had my hooks covered so I wouldn't catch any. So the moral of the story is, it's really hard to catch a fish when your hook is completely covered. So it's food for thought. It's really important. If you got yeah. hooks, use them. You know what I'm saying? Hard to catch Yay! <laughs> That's pretty smooth there. Good job. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. <laughs> well, coming up, Wade and Jeff continue searching through the thick and brushy cover of Choke Canyon to uncover their pre-spawn bass. And later, we'll head over to iCast to check out some new products our sponsors have developed for anglers. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. What are them sons of fishies up to now? Fellas, I give you the force trolling motor. It is the most powerful, the most efficient on the water. Yep, most powerful. We're really in trouble now. And it's quiet, too. You can't swim here. What a dumb bass. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. In tournaments, you know, we get forced to go to a lot of lakes we haven't fished. And, and the first thing I'm always thinking about is seasonal patterns. And, and that's probably be the, the biggest advice I can give anybody that's really trying to get serious about bass fishing is, is you know, I, I mean, I have a home lake that I love and there's places that are really good one time a year, but you won't catch a bass at the other. You know, and I think a lot of people that live on a lake, they continuously run back to the same spot because they've always caught them there. But the time of the year is the first thing I think about, okay? If it's the spring, I'm thinking shallow. Got him. That's a fat one, dude. That's a good one. Oh, pretty. Look how fat that yeah, sucker is. You. Holy cow. Use your lunker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that. What was he in? Which bush? By the bushes. Just like, like in they, the dry bushes? No, in the, in the green one. Just like they should be. Just right beside it, you know, sitting yeah. up there spawn. Mm -hmm. Great bite. You know, one that you can't help but know that uh, there's a bass. He just, poof, no doubt. Got him. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Got one. Captured him. No, I caught him on the tube, Fatty. <laughs> caught him on the tube, though. He did, I did. You brought the big one to come after him. Mm. Starting to get real. This just looks good. You notice how everything always looks so much better once you get a bite? Yep, your whole mindset just changes. <laughs> yeah. Got him? Yeah. Captured one. Got one. <laughs> Little two. Little fatty McFatty. Was he on the bottom? Yeah, he was. Well, he hit. Yeah, the bush shook. I was hoping he was going to be bigger. He was not. He was in the soft the edge. They're built right. They're just small. Ooh. Ooh. That time of year. That time of year. Yeah, when Everybody you... needs to go pee pee. <laughs> when you look at water like this, as much brush, I mean, it's, you know. First thing you think about is how you're gonna get to them. You know, when we're on, we're on a lake today uh, that has come up a ton. So there's just 
so much cover. I mean, you have to find something different as far as the, uh, you know, the structure. A lot of times you'll find, out, okay, they're in these green bushes or they're in these dead bushes or they're in the hardwood trees. But right now, you know, these fish want to spawn. And so the trick has been to be able to find water that was under four foot deep, which you would think would be easy, but it's not because you can't get to the bank. So on a lake like this, you know, a lot of times if you can get away with it, you want to cover water. You know, cover water until you start getting a few bites. As you start getting some bites, you slow down and you can pick it apart because it, when these lakes flood, everything's going to look great, but the 90% the of the fish are going to be a very small area. So we're trying to find areas with a little bit of isolated cover that's in the right depth of water, which seems to be around three to four foot of water. That's a good one. Better. Yeah, he's... Oh! Look at that dandy! Got a real one! That's a good one there. <laughs> oh! That's a good one. We talked about getting in here and there ought to yeah. be the shallower we got. Oh, we get one. that's a pretty one, huh? Yeah, we got to get a picture of him. Yay! Got one! Big fish of the day. I'm going to be down $3. Yes. I hope it's not the big fish of the day, but that's a nice one. You know what I mean? Well, so far Wade and Jeff are having some pretty good luck finding fish in the shallows of these flooded waters. And before they know it, a giant worthy of those infamous fishermen's tails comes along. Holy cow, look at that thing. What is that? It's a manatee. Dude, that thing is huge. God, I wanna catch him. Snaggy. I don't know if I'll get him. He's in a bad spot. <laughs> I feel obligated. Can you see him still? Oh man, I just a little bit slow on that one. Dude, that thing Pretty was historic. two foot, uh, right, that thing was like three <laughs> foot long, but like eight feet wide. I really did think it was a manatee. <laughs> I don't think we have any manatees. And dude, if there ever was one, that was him. Uh, he has not missed a meal. I saw a manatee on Chilk Canyon Lake. While Jeff keeps an eye out for the massive Choke Canyon manatee, we're gonna make our way over to iCast 2019 to check out brand new products from our sponsors, ranging from state-of-the-art trolling motors to the latest fishing line and bigger, better baits. Stay tuned. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z Series, unleash next level performance. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. At the pinnacle of super high output, four stroke outboard performance, you'll find Yamaha VMAX SHO, Yamaha's game changing SHO technology. From exhilarating V6 models to the sleek inline fours, there's a VMAX SHO for everything from bass to bonefish. It's an extended family of four strokes, engineered for lightweight, inspiring performance, and rock solid reliability. Discover VMAX SHO and elevate your expectations. Probably one of the number one questions I get, you know, what line do I use? That's a big debate. For every tour out there, everybody's debating which line. I choose the simple side. My choice of line is Sunline. One of my favorite lines to use is Sunline. How all can you use it? Anywhere you want to. Anywhere there's water and bass, it's good. Walleye, catfish, trout, speckled yeah, trout, buddy. sharks. There we go. Uh, I don't say this unless I think it's true, but honestly, it's the best in the market. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line. Power Pole, total boat control. Sawyer Products, Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're at iCast 2019, catching up with some of the latest products our sponsors have developed, starting with Garmin's debut into the trolling motor scene. Hey guys, Fred Rambanis here. We're at iCast 2019, and we've 
got to experience for the first time the brand new Garmin Force. Garmin does everything in the world bigger and better than anybody else out there, and now they're in the trolling motor game. Extremely powerful trolling motor, the strongest trolling motor I've ever used in my entire life. It really does blow my mind at the technology that they've integrated into a trolling motor. One of my favorite features about the Garmin Force trolling motor is it perfectly integrates with your existing Garmin electronics. It has a built-in UHD transducer and you can actually operate the trolling motor right here from a control panel on the unit itself. So this foot pedal right here is actually a wireless foot pedal. This particular one's hardwired, as you can see the cable right here, but there's a really cool option underneath here. This foot pedal is removable and it runs on AA batteries. So that's a really cool feature where you can move this foot pedal anywhere you want on the boat and can still have control. The other neat thing about it is if you look at the mount right here, it's got all the features on it that's gonna show you what's going on. You actually have a battery indicator that's gonna tell me my battery life. You've got your power indicator that's gonna show us uh, what percentage of throttle we're actually using. It's gonna show me that I'm paired up with my Garmin electronics, and it's gonna show me that I've got a GPS signal, but all right here on the unit. The next thing you'll notice is how rigid and sturdy this trolling motor is. For me, the most important thing is toughness and being quiet. I don't know how they did it, but it is you just don't hear it. The only thing you hear is the water slapping the front of your boat as you're picking up speed. We're at 4.34, 4.40, 4.53. I mean, this is just beyond impressive. I've never seen this kind of strength from a trolling motor of any brand. One of the coolest things, we have something very neat called gesture steering. I hold this button and look at the trolling motor head. Wherever I point this thing, it's where the trolling motor is gonna go. How cool is that? Gesture steering from Garmin Force. And last but not least, the stowing feature. You can set this trolling motor to automatically stow to the inside or the outside. This one's already set up to stow toward the outside, so I'm simply gonna stow this trolling motor and it's gonna take care of itself just like this. How about that? Don't have to worry about jamming up wires or anything like that. I simply stow my trolling motor, I'm ready to head to the next spot. I think you can see that the Garmin Force is definitely a trolling motor that you're gonna need to check out for your next boat. Hey guys, Michael Neal here at ICAST 2019, Big Bite Baits booth. I want to tell you about the new baits we got coming out this year. The first one, this is a bait I'm really excited about. It's the five inch fat stick. Essentially, this is the, our fish catching trick stick on steroids. Twice as fat, twice as much plastic, twice as much salt, several different colors, great shape. Really looking forward to this one. Next one is our Tour Swim Worm. This is available in two different sizes. This is actually a brand new color we came out. It's called Purple Toma. The tail comes pre-packaged with the split sealed together so the tail doesn't get hurt in packaging. You just pull it apart and you've got a brand new worm right there. Rib body, super soft plastic, super great action. From Big Bite Baits here at ICAST 2019. Hey everyone, Mike McLeod. I'm here at ICAST 2019 and once again here at Sunline talking about new Sunline product. And the thing that is cool, Sunline just continually comes with new product year after year and uh, Jason Christie actually teamed up with Sunline this year for the new Sunline 2C FC. And the thing that's cool about this line is you look at this spool and you would think that this is colored fluorocarbon line, but the reality of this is, is you've got a foot of orange and then you've got four feet of clear fluorocarbon line. You know, one of the biggest things that we're faced with this year, you know, across the country, it has rained, it's flooded everywhere. And the new Sunline Power to CFC gives an angler like myself the ability to fish with true fluorocarbon, but with the aid of that orange strip to be able to see your line. So that is a big benefit to fishing the new Sunline Power 2 CFC. Coming up, we're headed back over to Choke Canyon Reservoir with Wade and Jeff as they continue making their way through the flooded waters. When you spray on a layer of Sawyer's Permethrin insect repellent, you just sprayed on adventure. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. You know that guy that's always bringing in big ones from offshore? He's got secret lures. That guy that can pull out a spinning rod and start catching them when you can't buy a bite. He's got secret lures. 
What about that guy that can follow you down the bank and catch what you left behind? He's got secret lures. Oh, yeah, good one. If you're ready to be that guy, get your secret lures today at secretlures.com. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Angle, the original high-performance cooler. Sunline, the strength to guarantee your confidence. Wiley X, absolute premium protection. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Jeff has a few tips and tricks to share about throwing a Big Bite Baits trick stick as they wrap up their day. You know, people all the time, you know, I'll see them and they'll be like, what's your favorite bait? You know, I'm going to a pond or I'm going fishing. What can I use to get the most bites? And I think without a doubt, the Big Bite Trick Stick, especially in the time of year uh, we have now, which is pretty much from pre-spawn all the way through spawn and post-spawn, this little do-nothing worm, this is the Big Bite Trick Stick. This is one of my favorite colors right here, this tilapia magic. I like it. It's a green pumpkin, just got a little bit of flash in it. It just catches probably more bass than any other bait I could ever tell you to throw. He captured him. Got one. Little Bucky. Boy, he hit it hard. <laughs> he had it. Pretty. I like them all. I'm not, I don't care. They all bite. I like them A all. bite is a good bite. Mm, mm, mm. This time of year, you just can't hardly go wrong throwing a trick stick with a nail, can you? Wacky Texas, you can put it any way you want it and it works. Today, we're pitching around a lot of bushes and, and all that, so right now I'm using like a quarter ounce tungsten weight, and then you're just gonna Texas rig the bait on. And I go through all the way through the worm, go completely through the worm, and then just skin hook it. Now, the reason why I'm using a weight in, around, in all these bushes is because there's so many bushes, I'm trying to get the bait to the bottom. This bait, generally the slower you work it, the more bites you're gonna get. I mean, I'm telling you, you can't fish this bait slow enough. I missed one right there and you caught one right there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Dandy. I think it's a fun bite. I love it. You know, that's a deal, you know, you talked about how slow you need to work the bait. And the, the other is when you, when you throw this bait, you really need to be a line watcher. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> a lot of them, a lot of them will just swim off with it. And as the bait falls, so many times you'll see the bait falling, but you'll see that line just tick. And, and that's, that's, you know, so watch your line and fish low. And I think it's important on that, when you first throw in there on that initial fall, once it hits the bottom, let it sit for just a second before you start moving. Do you not agree? I 100% agree. Let it get all the way Let it go all the way to the bottom and then let it sit. And, fall, and, let it, and fish it on slack line yeah. when you first throw it yeah. in there. <laughs> that's the biggie. Yeah. If you feel a tick, that's a good thing. Yeah. Or <laughs> and if, if your line, line jumps, that way, yeah. that's a good thing. Like that right there. See how he's going the other way? Got him! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we just literally let that sit. Yeah. And you're not using a weight, right? No, or I'm fishing a... totally weight. Totally weight. Sit there and he ate it. Yes, sir. Hey, thank you for watching and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. 
Is this supposed to motivate me? You get a line and I'll get a pole. We'll go fishing in the crawdad hole. Honey, baby, oh mine. Not gonna do it. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. I got my power pole down. Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake. Sitting so still in the wind and the waves. Could even be a hurricane. I got my power pole down. You know, when I look at the tournaments I've won, probably four or five of the boats that I've won have been on a tube. But I had completely gotten away from flipping a tube because nobody, nobody made one soft enough. Big Bite has come with this new tour series of bait. The thing that's probably the most unique is when you look at that bait, the salt just rolls out of it. And to me, that is the reason a fish bites a tube and hangs on to it. This isn't one of those, let's go out and catch some smallmouth tube. This is a let's get it done tube. For precise prescription eyewear, Wiley X knows there's no room for error. We meticulously craft our own prescription lenses to fit our high wrap frames. And our ANSI safety rated lenses are tested to uncompromising standards. Nothing but precise. Because precision is everything. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler.